you don't need carbs, uh, you don't have to eat vegetables and all these different things about uh, voicing what many people in the low carb ketogenic carnivore space believe about nutrition and why they've chosen to do what they do. And there's, there's one specific area that I want to highlight in the way that we use words. It is absolutely a fact that you don't need carbs. You don't need to eat carbs in order to be healthy. You don't need to eat carbs in order to thrive, to perform athletic sports. But when we start talking about individual aspects of health and performance, when we start talking about and saying things like you don't need, your brain doesn't need carbs or you don't need carbs for energy, we're muddying the waters a little bit and we're mixing up some of the concepts, okay? You don't need exogenous carbs. That is not the same thing as your brain not needing glucose. Your brain needs some glucose. Does it operate on ketones? And if ketones are present, it will prioritize ketone meta metabolism? Absolutely. But it's not 100%. Ketones can provide up to 40% of brain energy. You still need glucose for your brain to function. Your body can create it from breaking down fat for energy. You don't have to eat it. It is a different conversation when we change the words that we're using. If we want to be specific and actually mean what we say, then we have to say the right things. Do you need exogenous carbs for energy in day daily living or in athletic endeavors? No, you do not. Do you need glucose to perform specific types of work at intensities and time domains that prioritize the glycolytic energy pathway. Absolutely you do. Glucose is a necessity for specific certain activities. Do you have to eat it? No. Your body can make it from the fat that it breaks down. When your body breaks down triglycerides, it uses that glycerol backbone and creates glucose. Okay, there are processes in the body that provide the glucose substrates that we need for energy. We don't have to eat them, but that is not the same as not needing glucose. When we combine carbs and glucose and we start munging them together and using them unilaterally, we miss all of the details. We miss all of the actual impact and we miss what the nuance is in this debate about nutrition.